How's it going guys? Welcome back to another fishing video. We're out here on this beautiful afternoon. It might start raining, might not. We're going for largemouth because I know a lot of you guys want to see largemouth. We're going to try to catch largemouth today. We might end up catching pickerel because they're very aggressive at this pond. But we got Daniel with us today and yeah, we're going to try to catch a bunch of fish and just have a good day. Y'all stay tuned. Let's have some fun. Let's catch some fish. We're gonna start out here with a lipless crankbait on the KVD team rod. I know he's not with Quantum anymore, but we got the Quantum KVD rod and a Daiwa CC80 reel. These reels are some of my favorite reels with the white accents on them. They don't all come with white handles, but there's a bunch that do. Since it's quite shallow here, I'm switching up to a shallow diving jerk bait. This is a Yozuri 3DB. These are some of my favorite shallow diving jerk baits, especially, I mean, I can't believe there's already lily pads all over here, but I'm just gonna be throwing it around the lily pads. And I really like it in murky water because it flashes so much. Also, we're able to pause it since the water's a little colder. There's one. Pickerel as well. There you go. <laughs> it's starting to rain a little bit out here. A little bit. The swallows are still flying around, but yeah, we got we got a little rain. So I think at least pickerel wise is just cruising around there. Oh, yep, that's a fish. Did not think that was a fish. I can tell that's a pickerel. <laughs> got a pickerel right. There's the second pickerel of the day. We got a rainbow right in front of us over there. Got a nice pickerel. There he goes. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. But yeah, we got a sick rainbow over there. It was raining a little bit earlier. Now it's pretty chill here. But second, second pickerel right there. <laughs> we're fishing about three to four feet of water right now. This is normally where we go frogging. This is our first time fishing it and not frogging. So we didn't really know how deep it was. We were expecting maybe for it to be a little deeper, but it's very shallow pretty much all throughout. But it's turned out to be a pretty nice day or weather as we got the rainbow disappearing over there and then the sun's poking out over there. Not much wind at all. Um, and I think... We're just gonna keep throwing this jerk bait, maybe move around a little more, throw the shaky head, and see if there's any bass hanging out. Oh, I, I just yeah, got I, swirled on. Listen, my rod is broken. Look at this. Got him. <laughs> Top water fishing. There we go. Woo this is how you make pickerel fishing fun in the spring. Throw a nice popper for him. Oh, he just got one. Daniel just got. You got a sunfish. Yeah, we're out here. Or crappie. You got a crappie. Challenging. I didn't know there were crappie in here. I didn't know there were crappie in here either. Okay, my guy's unhooked. There goes my guy. Got got slime all over him. All over me. No, almost hooked myself. We're just using this live target popper right here. These are some of my favorite poppers. If you can find them on sale, they're definitely worth it. If you're getting them for like the retail price, I wouldn't say they're as worth it, but they are really good poppers. And a lot of times, like Dick Sporting Goods over in Danvers, at least I'm sure all the other Dicks will have them, but I usually go there and they'll have like a three live target for five for a 15 deal so they're five dollars each and i'll just pick up like three of these so that's that's how i like to do it we're getting ready to head out of here soon it was really fun to be able to catch those pickerel at the end there just on these poppers 
lot, lots of fun top water action. Not lots, but like some decent top water action from Pickerel. And thank you guys so much for watching. There's a bunch of ducks. And yeah, please like, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.